supposed to feel about this. But. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Slightly Warm Seat Podcast. My name is Jonah King. I'm sitting here with USFSP student Sean Murphy, that a.k.a. Way. Smurf. That's his rap name. He's a local rapper here in the St. Petersburg area. Now, yeah. first off, What's up? what I have to get to, your name's Smurf. You already know. What are you going to do when the Smurf references start coming and you get yourself in a little rap battle with Soldier Boy? <laughs> And he starts King Draco. You talking, talking about King Draco? <laughs> oh no, he man! He starts representing the little blue people. What's what's your defense? Man, well, I don't know, man. Pretty much everybody has different names, you know. Soldier Boy, he ain't in the soldier. He ain't in, he ain't in the army. You know this what I'm saying? Is, this is so, true. So so everybody got a name. <laughs> Migos ain't even Mexican. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you you got you got all these people that you know got fake names and stuff. So I fair, said, fair enough, fair enough. Not? Let's all right. So you just dropped your first eight track mixtape, the uh, Smurf tape. Smurf tape, it's a Smurf tape. Let's how, go. How happy are you with the project? Man, the Smurf tape was amazing, man. It got me so much recognition. It got me the recognition I needed to, you know what I'm saying, in the local area. It was recorded at Executive Studios in Clearwater, you know. My boy Smoothie, I met him down in downtown St. Pete when I was pushing my own music. I met up with him and uh, pretty much he's an engineer, so we got in the studio and then we buffed it out. My favorite track though, uh, All My, you know what I'm saying. It's, right. it's, it's my favorite track on a mixtape, but every song up there, it sounds different, and I love it. Most so. popular song is so far Shrek. And that was the single, yes. Yeah, yeah. How, Shrek, Shrek was a single. How, how are you feeling about that one? Um, Shrek was uh, Shrek was fun to make because I made it like every every song was made in a different location, okay. except except for I mean, excuse me, every song was made in the same one other than Shrek. Okay. Shrek was made in um in like a hut, like in the, in the cut, like in a trap house type shit. Like um, pretty much when we made it, uh, when I made when I made it, I edited, it, I recorded everything. You know, my my boy was in the background. My boy Mac Twain, yep. he uh, he pretty much was behind the scenes, like showing me what I had to do. That's when I made Shrek. It took like it took, man, Shrek took so long, like at least four hours. Uh, going back a little bit, tell me a little bit about Mac. You guys started working together about a year ago or so. Yeah, so I met Mac uh, in uh, my freshman year. He's the first. He was my roommate in summer 2015. That's when we met. Uh, he was already doing his music thing. He's pretty big on SoundCloud stuff like that. So I was listening to his songs, and I was I was before I was even rapping. I was listening to him. I was like, "Yo, man, this this is tough. Like, how hard is it to do? You know what I'm saying?" So he showed me how to do it, and ever since then, like, I just been going forward with it and pushing my own music. But me and Mac, we have at least like eight songs together. And Mac, when I pop off, Mac gonna pop off too. So. Were Were you rapping prior to? Not at all. Not at all. Me and Mac, we uh, were messing around with the Holy Ghost beat. Uh, no, Ho- Holy Water beat by the game. We were messing around with that beat. But that's pop off. So uh, we were like playing that beat over and over and over, and I was like, man, let me get on this track because originally it was just gonna be him, and I was like, nah, man, I gotta get on <laughs> it. So I got like, I got like, uh, like, like, probably like eight bars on it, man. And uh, it's crazy because he actually wrote the whole thing, like he helped me write it and everything. And then like after I did it, I was, and I saw the views, I saw how the numbers were kept coming. I'm like, and I was like getting some popularity. I was like, yo, man, this is, I'm trying to keep going with this. So that's that's how it all started so with Max Twain. He raps a little bit more of a traditional style yourself. Mm-hmm. I personally would call it a shotgun style. What I mean by that is kind <laughs> of like, if you just think about a shotgun, you just blast a couple, you blast the ball. Yeah. You blast the ball, and then you blast the ball. Yep. How would you describe your style, though? I like that, man. But, like, mainly, uh, it's crazy because my music style varies, but uh, I'm, I'm very my music is very influenced by Max O'Crane, Fredo Santana, Chief Keith, a lot of the drill rappers. And then I I, I love flexing too, so I got some soldier in there. Like shout out the bass guy, you know what I'm saying? Like all my I try to like get a blend of everything because a lot of people like you look at Twenty One Savage like. It's just you don't get the same thing. Like I want all my music. Like so, sometimes you can be like, "Damn!" Like he just dropped the bar, and then sometimes I want you to just be flexing, like just turning up with me. So every every song and everything I want to do is sound different, you know. All right, so tomorrow's a big day for you. Yeah. Open <laughs> that, <laughs> that way. That way. That way. Open, Open it for the Migos. Migos. Yep. What's what's the feeling right now? Revolution Live. Eighteen hundred people shot at Revolution Live. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity. Uh, 30 minutes set, you know, right before Migos come out, so it should be, it should be amazing. I'm, I'm stoked, man. I'm, I'm gonna be there uh, all day tomorrow. Probably going to the college campuses like FAU and stuff like that, promote my music. I'm gonna try to get some uh, some popularity out there while I'm out there, other than the show. How'd that opportunity come out for you? Uh, I was crazy. I'm, I was just sitting around, literally in my bed, just on Twitter, and I met this booking agent a, a couple weeks before that. Mm-hmm. So he had called me because I've been to him. I was like, yo, I'm trying to get a show real bad, any show, any. I'll do it my own. I, I'll, you know, anything. I'll pay for it. Blah blah blah. So he contacted me, he was like, hey man, uh, Fort Lauderdale show just opened up, and it's kind of far from here, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, yeah. eh, I don't know, I don't know, so what's the details? And then he was like, yo, uh, pretty much, 
uh, Migo, it's for the Migos, opening for the Migos. I was like, hell yeah, man, come on, are you serious? I was, I was going crazy. I was telling everybody, man. I was like, yo, I'm over. I was still, I was still in North Carolina for break. I was like, yo, man, I'm for the Migos. I was going also on everybody, man. I was on Snapchat acting crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was just, I was so excited. You know, I still am. Like now that it's the day before, I'm like, I'm low key kind of nervous, man. But I know I'm gonna go crazy. Of course. No, I'm going Are you from North Carolina? Yeah, man. Born and raised, man. 18 and a half years in North Carolina, man. Came out here for school. Did you come come here for college? Yeah, I mean, kind of, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got family in Florida, and I ain't really want to. I don't like North Carolina like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's cool <laughs> to mess with girls and stuff like that, but other than that, bro, like, this, this shit is dumb. So I pretty much came down here and for school and stuff. I, I mean, USF Tampa was my main choice, but pretty much, like, it was way too much. I forgot what happened. It was pretty much, like, I got into, uh, well, actually, I accidentally applied to USF St. Pete. I got here by accident, all right, because okay. I'm from North Carolina, so I applied. I thought I was going to USF Tampa. Right. So when I got here, I was like, dang, I applied to the wrong school. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So at first, I was going to try to transfer. You know what I'm saying? I was yeah. like, yo, it's, it's kind of boring here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was going to transfer until I started making music and I started getting in the system. I started meeting new people like in downtown St. Pete. Like St. Pete has a beautiful music scene. Like yeah. I, ever since I started working local, that's when everything started to pop off for me. It wasn't, nothing was nothing was happening for my music until I started going into the communities like Southside and just like pushing my music. Like, yo, like I'm out of downtown, like my music's good. And ever since then, that's that's, that's pretty much what was the catalyst was coming here. What year are you in? The sophomore year. This is your sophomore yeah. year. Yeah. What's, what's your favorite? What's your favorite part about being here so far? Now that you're uh, St. Pete kind of, yeah. campus, or just St. Petersburg? St. St. Pete and the campus. Oh, St. Pete definitely south side. Like MOK Twenty Second. Like the culture down there is crazy. Yeah. Like most people act, act like it's ghetto or something like that. It's really not. Like it's great people down there. That's where that's where everybody listens to my music. Like that's how that's how I became like but a buzz. I didn't get a buzz through campus. I got a buzz through the city. Yeah. And that led to campus. That led to me like everybody's like, oh, Smurf, you know, doing this, this, and this. Like, yeah, like I've been doing this, but you just didn't know about it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, but uh, my favorite thing about campus, uh, probably the people. Like, cause whenever people find out that I'm making music and stuff like that, they're like, oh, and then then they want then they want to hang out and stuff. But before, but that's the thing. Though, it's kind of fake. Cause before that, nobody was listening to my music, man. Nobody was nobody was messing with me until I started getting some clout and started showing people that what I'm about. Dropping mixtapes and stuff like that. What's your favorite spot to eat in Southside? Oh God, I mean we could go with the classic Salem's. You know you can't go wrong with Salem's, but they got Salem's everywhere. True, true, true. But um, probably the uh, the seafood place off four. Yeah. You keep going down. You know what I'm saying over there by McDonald's, man. Yeah. They got the best crab legs, bro. <laughs> the snow crab is crazy. All right. For real. What are you studying? Um, journalism, man. Journalism. Yeah. Plan to do anything with it? Just I mean, uh, that's pretty much. I mean, I want to do sports journalism, but yeah. like, I think that this, if my music gonna take off, then that's that's my fallback. Most people yeah. the other way around, you know what I'm saying? Like they're, right. they're like they're gonna they're gonna fall back on music, you know what I'm saying? But right, now, right, like, right. since everything's starting to start so soon for me, I'm only 20, you know what I'm saying? So right. everything's starting so soon for me. I'm got my first show. Like, I feel like this is just this is just a start, you know what I'm saying? So have you stuck to mainly rapping, or have you done anything producing? And oh no, nah, man, that stuff's too hard, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like that like, I hate producing, man. Like. It's just too much, bro. You got it. You got like my boy Mac. He uses FL, and if you go to the studio, yeah. they, they use Pro Tools. Yeah. And if you ever use Pro Tools, you know <laughs> that shit is just it's just too hard, right. bro. So pretty much, uh, I just all I do is record, man. That's why I go to the studio now because I don't want to deal with the extra stuff. I just go straight to the studio. They'll, re they'll record right there. Boom. You know what I'm saying? So do you write your own stuff? Yeah, man. I write everything, but uh, pretty much. I freestyle a lot of it too, you know what I'm saying, okay. but but not actually like uh, the verses. Only the, only the hooks are freestyled. I, I freestyle every hook that way because like because whenever I'm vibing to the beat and stuff like that, you know you you can't just go in automatically with something already written. You gotta already have the beat, you know what I'm saying? Like right. you gotta have the flow and stuff. You can't just go in there already written something and then expect it to work. So pretty much I listen to the beat at least at least five to eight times. You know what I'm saying? Get like the rhythm of it. Right. Do the hook, freestyle the hook, write the hook down, and then just play the beat over and over and over and over, and then do bar for bar, bar for bar to bring it back to the hook. So yeah, I don't I don't do a ghost writing or nothing like that either. Who are your favorite rappers right now? Right now, uh man, probably uh, man, I mean shit, uh, Max o Cream definitely. Shouts out to Max o Cream. Uh, man, there's so many Migos, man. Thank you for the Migos. <laughs> it's more for the Migos. I wouldn't even you know what I'm saying be remotely relevant. Thank you, Migos. Uh. Man, oh Ray Schremer, man, because I got uh, my next mixtape, Smurf Mode, is gonna be is gonna be hosted by their DJ, DJ okay. DJ uh, John Wells. He was out here in Janice, you know. He was he's on tour with him right now. I reached out to him and he's promoting my next mixtape. It's gonna be on front front page of Spin Rilla and all that. Thank you to him. Uh, I like I like anything I can flex too. I, I love Little Pump. I like Little Yachty. I love Aquaberry Perry. Let me think. Not too much Uzi, you know what I'm saying? Because he 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 gonna fall off eventually. 
I like 21. I like everybody, man. Like Denzel Curry, bro. Like the list goes on and on. Like, I, I use like every like my playlist. If you ever if you ever was chilling with me, man, and you heard my music playlist, you'd be like, man, you'd be going hard one day. Next thing you know, it's just like some soft Drake. You know, like my music, my music's always right. changing up, man. Like that's why I love it. That's why I love making it. Where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, five years, uh, at least at least doing shows every every two days. Like I'm gonna be like I I know by five years oh my god bro five years I'm gonna be on everything I'm gonna be on I'm gonna be on billboards in five years bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. you, you're gonna keep releasing tapes or you think about some albums? No, nah, I'm doing tapes. I'm trying to go to mixtape way. Like I, I studied like a lot of people how they started popping off that are big. I studied Gucci and what Gucci did he dropped a mixtape almost every month just to have a diverse catalog. So if you don't like one song you don't like the other. So pretty much what I'm trying to do is every month I'm gonna drop a mixtape. My, I, I hate the leak. I mean, I might as well go ahead and leak it. You know, I'm here with DJ on the King, so I might as well. Might my, as well. I might as well leak my next move. Uh oh. I ain't even get to my my current move. <laughs> so look, I'm gonna leak. I'm gonna leak to you right now. My mixtape after Smurf Mode, which is coming out February 4th. Okay. It's gonna be like I'll do like March 12th. I haven't got a certain date yet. Right. But it's gonna be Smurf season, man. Some last minute. Yeah, Smurf that's season. the after. That's after Smurf Mode. I leaked it here. You are. You heard it here first. We heard it here Smurf first. Smurf season, ladies, gentlemen. But February 18th, I got my second show. I'm going to San Antonio, man, for my boy. Shout out to Little T, man. He got me a show out there uh, at the barn house. They do, like, crazy parties out there. He hit me up the other night talking about a show. I said, hell yeah, man. So I'm flying out there. I'm so excited, man. Like, everything's finally starting to starting to click for me, man. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. I'm happy for it, man. <laughs> Thank Can't you. Can't wait to see it. it. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate you, man. <laughs> we'll see you.